Hi, my name is Kyle Jaro, and I am so grateful for the Rhinebeck Writers Retreat. I went up there with Duncan Sheik to work on a new musical of ours called Noir. Uh, we had really nothing except for the idea to the show when we got up there. But being there among this beautiful countryside with silence, with the ability to focus, we really we outlined the story. Duncan wrote five songs. I wrote the lyrics for those songs. It really kick-started creating this piece that has now gone on to be finished and is about to get produced for the very first time. I think the thing that makes Rhinebeck Writers Retreat so rare, though, is that uh, it's kind of like the great equalizer. The year that I did my residency, I was in it with Broadway veterans and regional theater favorites, as well as emerging writers. Uh, I think I was one of those, <laughs> technically. The day we got accepted to Rhinebeck Writers Retreat, we we're on Zoom and just like jumping up and down and hoot and hollering. This, it meant a lot. It validated our piece. The press generated, put us on the map. We were, we became some le legitimized. We were on their radar and things like that. I, I gotta say that there ought to be 20 Rhinebeck retreats every year. There, there should be 20 of them. That's not an exaggeration. Um, 20 doing the same thing as, as the one does now. Until that time happens though, like, thank you so much, Rhinebeck, for being, for, for, being so many artists true north. I don't know if we could have really done it without this opportunity to go to a place where we could just shut out the noise of the world and focus on the work. There's almost no experience as valuable as the Rhinebeck Writers Retreat. Just so thankful to have been able to be part of it. And uh, it is so worthy of my support and your support uh, to help them continue to give those kinds of opportunities to artists in the future.